Hello, this is Mrs. Burnfield, and this is resident care procedure number 72. Um, a resident can pass away on anyone's shift. So uh, you want to, if you come in and find that your resident does not appear to be breathing, um, you need to come call for the nurse immediately. They will evaluate and determine whether or not he is a DNR status. Uh, the, so what you would do is lay them in a supine position. You might need to ask the uh, roommate, they'd be willing to step or you know, leave for a little while and ask the family if they'd be willing to step out while you do the uh, end of life care. Um, put them in supine, make sure that their head is straight, one pillow, close their mouth, hold their eyelashes and pull their eyelids closed, and then you're going to bathe them as needed. Um, and you put a fresh gown on them. Be sure and put a pad under them. And a lot of times I'll take the pad and bring it up just a little bit because um, a lot of times the uh, they have issues with um, sometimes the, a little bit of oozing, so you don't want to have a problem with that. So um, once, the, uh, once you've got them clean, put their teeth in, put their glasses on, make sure their hair is brushed, prepare them to be transported to the morgue, and then put a fresh gown on them, make them look comfortable and in a natural position, and then ask the family if they would like to come in. Um, when the funeral home gets there, you're going to assist them with transferring them from the bed to their cart. And then uh, when the family is ready, you'll get the uh, uh, personal inventory sheet. You will go through their belongings with them and clean the room up. Thank you.